The Tsiolkovsky rocket equation was developed by a Russian scientist and pioneer of space exploration, Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. It is a mathematical equation that relates the velocity, the change of velocity of the rocket, to the nozzle velocity, and with the log of the initial mass, that's the wet mass, and then the final mass, that's the dry mass. So this equation right here relates to the economics of rocket launching. And even though this is an old equation, it gives us this trade-off analysis to be able to design rocket engines and the payloads and the velocities that are needed in order to get objects into orbit. So let's just talk a little bit about this equation and then we're gonna set up and solve an optimization problem with this. So we're gonna do this for profit. We wanna maximize the potential profit or revenue uh, minus the costs that we have. So let's go and just write out the uh, profit function. Okay, so profit equals, and that's going to be the revenue minus the cost of the fuel minus the cost of, this is going to be the rocket itself. Okay, and then minus the cost of um, the exhaust velocity. I'll just put EX there. So we have the cost, first of all, of the fuel. The fuel cost is going to be equal to 4.154 times, and then this is the difference between the initial mass and the final mass. Okay, that's our cost of fuel. Now let's go on to um, the cost of the rocket itself. All right, the cost of the rocket is going to be 154.36 times the final weight. So that's after all the fuel is gone. Now we also have the cost of the exhaust velocity. All right, so cost EX, and that one is going to be equal to 75 times the exhaust velocity. And then our revenue, our revenue is um, how much money we're going to make off of this launch, and it's going to be equal to 550 ch times the change in velocity of this object. Okay, so that's directly related to the output of this equation right here. So we want to set up and solve this um, with just a little bit more information. All right, the dry mass, okay, so MF has to be at least, okay, 20,000 kgs. And the change in velocity, okay, the it should be probably between 20,000, 200 meters per second, but then also greater than 9,400 meters per second. So it's going to be somewhere in that range. And the varying designs allow for exhaust velocities. Okay, so this is the exhaust velocity right here, V naught. And V naught can be, has to be less than 4,500. Oh, I went down a little bit too much there. Okay, 4,500 meters per second and greater than 2,500 meters per second. Okay, so it has to be within that range as well. All right, now appropriate guess value for the wet mass, this is with the fuel, is going to be somewhere, okay, so this is going to be the initial, and that's going to be somewhere around 100 and. 50,000, or I'll just put that uh, in kilograms, 150,650 kilograms. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up and solve it. We're going to solve this optimization problem with these different design variables that we have. And we're going to try to maximize the profit here. All right, so with this information, 
we're going to first of all just import gecko as a package if you don't have gecko you can always uh, pip install gecko and it will download and install the latest version for you okay and then I'm going to create a new model M and then let's do the revenue per the Delta velocity all right so we have uh, 500 okay so this is uh, 550 and then we have our wet mass as well that's gonna be one of our variables and I'll give it this initial guess value right here and then I have my dry mass after all of the fuel is gone and that's going to be initial guess uh, well I'll just say I've got a lower bound of 20,000 it has to be greater than that okay effective exhaust velocity now I have my lower and upper bounds here and I'll give it an initial guess as well of 3500 Now the velocity of the vehicle to orbital velocity at 242 kilometers okay I'll say that it has to be between a lower bound of 9400 and an upper bound of 20,200 all right, I'll have my profit. That's going to be another variable as well. So these are all the design decisions or variables that are a result of the calculations. And I'll create some intermediate variables now that are functions of the ones up above. So this is going to be my cost of my fuel, the CF. There's my cost of the rocket, or CD. And then there's my exhaust cost okay so 75 times v naught all right and then I also have the total cost is the cost of the fuel plus the dry plus exhaust okay there's my revenue and then I have some equations so here's the Tsiolkovsky equation for the DV equals v naught times the log um, of the initial the wet mass divided by the dry mass and the initial divided by the final and then I can also put in some constraints just to help it find a solution like maybe my initial has to be greater than or equal to at least two times the final okay that wasn't in the problem statement but it might help just find the optimal solution okay profits could be revenue minus cost and th those are all of my equations. So now I have my objective. I want to try to maximize the profit. And I'll change the solver to 3. That's the default. So you can just leave that off if you want. And then I'll solve it. And the final thing I want to do is just display the wet mass, the dry mass, the delta velocity, and the nozzle exhaust velocity. Okay, so there is my model. And I can open up. Can run this either through Jupyter Notebook or I can run it through the command prompt with Python. And so I'll just do this through the command prompt. Oh, it looks like I have it stored somewhere else. Okay. Rocket. Okay, I think it's in there. Okay, so there is the solution. And you can see in the solution, the wet mass is 595,000. Now you can see I had an initial guess of 150 right here. It was much more than that. Okay, the dry mass, the mass of the rocket, 20,000. So I hit uh, this lower bound right here of 20,000. And then the delta velocity. Now we're not at a bound here. That's a hundred or fifteen thousand two hundred seventy-three. Okay, so that is, um, you know, wasn't bounded, um, and it came up with a non. You can often find that from, from just checking your constraints and make sure you're not at a bound. And then the nozzle velocity. That was the most that was potentially available in terms of the effective exhaust velocity so even though it cost more for that the overall optimization said that we needed to invest in uh, a rocket motor that had a higher exhaust velocity okay so that's it for the solution and you can see 
the costs, the profit, and some of the trade-offs there. And it was able to adjust the values of all of these variables to be able to maximize the profit. Okay, and if we just check here, um, you'll see that the objective is a negative. It's just because when you solve these with you know the solvers, it just converts it to a, it multiplies by negative one to minimize it. So when you maximize it, if you wanna be able to print out the maximum profit, you just take the negative of that. And so you're making $258,000, uh, or no, $2.6 uh, $2 million, okay? $2.6 million from that rocket launch. All right, and if you wanted to check some other solutions, you could turn these into parameters. Let's say I wanted to change that into a parameter. I said, well, I really want that to be, you know, 35, uh, 100 instead, and then we can see the change it'll have on our um, final objective. Okay, so if I do this again, okay, so that's 2.6 million or so. Okay, that wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, 2.584 versus the prior one was 2.584. 4004 so almost the same looks like pretty close to the same solution even with a different exhaust velocity all right and then if i wanted to change some of the other ones like um you know maybe the dry mass okay i'm going to change that to a parameter and i'm just going to set its value equal to and then let me go up to 30,000 so a bigger rocket all right, so now I'm just doing some what if scenarios. If I fix those at certain values like 30,000, then you can see that the objective, you actually lost money on that launch, okay? $1.4 million that you lost because you added that additional value there. But if I change it back to a variable and let the optimizer find it for me, then you can see oh a different solution here so um, it looks like i may not have saved this one before let me go ahead and change that to a variable and get back to my original solution okay so there's negative two there's the 2.6 million dollars of profit let me change this one to 3500 and then i've got to save it this little red has to go to blue and then I run it again. Okay, so you can see the profit dropped to $858,000. So that makes more sense. It actually did change it quite a bit. If you set the velocity, the exhaust velocity to 3,500 versus letting it go up to 4,500. So it affected your profit quite a bit. Okay, so um, anyway, that's the tutorial on the Sokolsky rocket is equation and how we can use it to optimize the rocket design for launching payloads into space.